1,100 miles from Huntington Beach, California, more than 1,200 miles from Atlantic City, Michael Seacrest crossed the Mississippi River on Friday, July 26, the leader in the race across America. By now, riders and crews at the front of the race had been made aware that a rider behind them was gravely injured. That, along with the persistent rains that lingered over the route, had cast a somber shadow on the race. In second place, Jonathan Boyer was spending less and less time off the bike and behaving more like an ultramarathon cyclist. The two riders were locked in the most competitive battle the race had seen in its four-year history. Atlantic City might be as close as three and a half days away. Now, in a town just east of Memphis, at 3 p.m. Central Time, Boyer closed in, determined to fulfill the failed prophecy of the night before, that he could go by secret and never have to see him again. more demanding gears going up hills than the other riders, an obvious show of his road racing technique, a way of establishing what he saw as the critical difference between his identity and those of his competitors. It was interesting that right now, that seems more important than ever before. but big deal. I mean, uh, who can push a 119 inch gear up and down hills for uh, 1,200 miles? I can push just as big a gear as he can, but why? Still fall flat on his face, no sleep? Can't do it. Well, that's uh, intended to be to decide the path, and now you're going to try to open up a big gap? Uh, I don't know. What was it? I don't know. The best thing is anger. What are you angry about? I didn't like what was going on. And I don't want to uh, get the specific. Looking back at what happened last night, what's I don't want to talk you? about it. It's over with. That's it. I have nothing to say. Now you're in a whole new frame of mind. Yeah. I was characterizing. If you have enough willpower, and you want something bad enough, you can get your body to do anything. Anything. And if you have enough concentration, and give it the right food. So what do you want it to do now? Not stop. <laughs> Atlantic City. That's going to be hard to convince with that thing, you know. It was to be the race's critical decision. From now on, Jock Boyer, too, would be an ultramarathon cyclist, throwing caution to the wind and pushing his body as far as it would go. <laughs> 